I picked this beauty up on the Nextdoor app, and the first thing I did was clean it with some white lightning cleaner and some warm water. After that, I got to sanding the top, and here I am. I started out with a 80 grit sandpaper and then moved on to 150 and then 220 to create a smooth finish on the top. Once the top was all sanded and ready to go, I applied my stain and here I am applying Fusion Mineral Paints All-in-One Stain. It is the cappuccino color. Top's all done and now it's time to paint. So I decided to go with an ash color and it is Fusion Mineral Paint because I really like their products. They go on really well. Um, I tried something different here. I usually do blue colors so I wanted to be a little bit different this time and go with a darker color and I really like how it turned out. All right, so now that I'm done painting, I'm going to show you how I applied the rice paper to the drawers that are actually on the inside of the dresser. There's three of them. So first I'm going to clean them with a white lightning cleaner and a little water. And then after that, I'm going to take the rice paper and clear satin top coat by Dixie Bell. And I'm going to apply the clear coat to the drawer that's what the rice paper is going to stick to. You kind of use it like you would use glue. So I'll take the paper out and it's not quite large enough to cover the whole drawer. So I'm just gonna place it in the center and then I'm gonna paint around the edges. So you take the top coat, you put it on the bottom and then after you apply the paper, you actually put the top coat right over the rice paper. Now what I learned doing this is that in order to get a smooth finish, you really have to place it on there perfectly. I kind of, this is the first time I did it, so I had more wrinkles than I would have liked. So just really focus on trying to get it as straight and smooth as possible and um, kind of rub out those creases from the center to the edge of the drawer, which I did not do here and I wish I would have, but this was my first time using rice paper. So I think it turned out okay. And here I am, I just took a very fine grit sandpaper pad and this is how I'm gonna remove the excess paper. So I just sand along the edges there and it's gonna start to tear the rice paper along the edge of the drawer. I'm just fixing little areas that needed to stick better. So just sand along and it'll just start to easily tear right along the edge of the drawer. And then you can kind of tear it yourself too. So 
So there you go. So that is on there. Like I said, it's not as smooth as I wish it would be, but it was my first time applying it. Um, probably should have put it on there and pushed out all the creases better. So here I am just applying the paint to the sides of it because I didn't want that exposed wood. I wanted it to match the rest of the dresser. And just like that, it's done. And I did the other two, so there's all three of them. That's what they look like. There's an up-close shot. You can see there's a little bit of wrinkles in it, but that's okay. All right, moving on to the hardware. So I used Barkeeper's Friend to clean my hardware again. I boiled it in a pot of water for about five minutes and then scrubbed it with the Barkeeper's Friend. Um, and they actually did not turn out as clean as I wanted them to. So I decided that I was going to just spray paint them. And I used a gold metallic spray paint to do that. And I think they turned out much cleaner and better looking. So here is the finished dresser with the cappuccino top and the ash color with the gold hardware and then the floral decoupage rice paper. And here's the before and after pictures. I think it was a great flip. And now moving on to the next piece, I think I'm gonna flip a couple of mirrors and see how that turns out. So stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And you can always follow me on Instagram as well. It's at all about underscore that paint. So see you next time. Thanks.